Hey, what's up, everybody? Cornucopia Game today tweeted out that farming is now live on MinSwap. So you can provide liquidity to MinSwap and then start staking and farming your Cornucopia tokens. MinSwap is on Cardano blockchain. So if you have Copy tokens on Binance Smart Chain, you will not be able to use this method. In the future, there'll be a bridge from Binance to Cardano. So you'll be able to transfer your tokens from Binance to Cardano blockchain. Chainport is currently working on that, but that's still in the works and bridge is going to be built in the future. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly what you need to do, how to provide liquidity and how to stake your LP tokens. So first we need to go to minswap.org and then press on enter app. Then this window is going to appear and then we need to connect our wallet. Press on connect wallet. Choose your wallet here for this video tutorial. I'm going to be using naming. And then press on access. And since I have ADA handle in my wallet, I can press on my ADA handle and my ADA handle is going to appear over here instead of my wallet. So if you don't have Kopi token purchased, but you are trying to purchase and start farming on MinSwap, I already made a video about how to purchase Kopi tokens on MinSwap step by step. And I'll leave link in the description below. Once you have your Kopi tokens in your wallet, here's for example, my name wallet, I have 253 tokens and I have some ADA because I'll need a pair when I'll be providing liquidity. So once you have your tokens in your wallet, go back to MinSwap and press on add liquidity. Then in here, we need to choose exactly which liquidity we're providing. So I'm going to select tokens here and I'm going to scroll down until I'll see copy. And then I'm going to choose entire balance or I'm just going to press on here or you can just enter the amount you would like to provide. And then at the same time, it's going to require me to also provide 35 Cardanos. Once you have all that selected, now we need to press on add liquidity. So as you can see right here, it's going to take 39 from my wallet because it's going to take four other tokens for different kind of fees and then press on sign here. And now we need to type our password and then confirm. Now we just have to wait until the transaction is going to go through on the blockchain. Okay, looks like once the transaction has been submitted, there is a little bubble appeared under orders and it says number one. So one order is pending. And if we go to orders, we can see right here that I have ADA and copy deposit and it's queuing right now. And we can expand that and we can see batcher's fee to Cardano's deposit to Cardano's and when it was created. And then also we can cancel here if we change our mind. But to cancel your order, you have to have collateral in your wallet because that's the only way you can interact with a smart contract. And to have collateral in place, you'll have to go back to naming press on this little logo on the top right corner and then press on collateral. I already have five Cardanos as collateral set up, but if you don't, it's going to give you an option, then you'll have to submit and type your password and it's going to take five Cardanos and it will put as collateral. Once you get done using for whatever reason you needed collateral, you can always remove and it's going to appear back in your wallet. Now we just have to wait until the queuing process is going to go through and we'll get LP tokens in our wallet. Let me refresh that really quick. Okay, looks like process is complete and I received 94 million LP tokens. And if I'm gonna press on here, as you can see right here, I have it's some kind of weird characters here and it says 94 million LP tokens. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to form. And then in here, we need to find ADA and copy. So I'll scroll down. And right now, as you can see right now, the APR is 131 percent here's the thing though at the time of recording this video this is this percentage but once you're going to get to it or later on the more people is going to be making deposits and staking this percentage is going to go lower here's for example i start staking while back ada and pavia and when i started i started with like 120 percent or something like that and now it's 62. so keep in mind the percentage is going to be lower later in the future so then we need to press on stake. Then we need to set the amount either 25 percent, 50, 75 or 100. I'm going to provide 100 and then I'm going to press on stake. Same thing. We have to pay 
little fee to Cardanos, press on sign, and then your password again, and then press on complete. And that's it. Transaction submitted. Now we just have to wait until it's going to go through and it's going to appear in here. One thing I need to point it out that your rewards is going to be in min token. It's not actually going to be copy tokens, but you can always go back and swap min to Carnacopia or min to Cardano. But your rewards is going to be earned in min tokens. Okay, a few minutes later, my LP tokens disappeared from my wallet. As you can see, I don't have any and they're appeared over here. And as I speak, I'm already earning mint tokens. So the more you provide, the more or faster you're going to earn mint tokens. And once you're going to get to the point that you are ready to harvest, you just have to press on harvest. Then this window is going to appear again. You'll have to pay two Cardano's fees and you'll just have to press on sign and you'll just have to wait until tokens is going to appear in your wallet. I'm going to press cancel for now because I'm not going to harvest because it's not even one full mint token. But at this time, as you can see, I already earned almost 1%. And then, for example, if you decide to stop farming, then what you'll have to do, you'll have to press on withdraw. Once you press on withdraw, you'll have to set amount how much or what's the percentage you're going to withdraw let's say 100 then you'll have to press on withdraw once you're doing withdraw at the same time it's going to withdraw your mint token so your mint token is going to appear in your wallet and if you need to see step-by-step -step process on how to withdraw your LP tokens and withdraw your liquidity that you provided earlier I already made a video about how to do that and I'll also leave a link in the description below and this is pretty much it. If this video is helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.